and very happy 2021. We finally made it, 2020 is over. Hallelujah. After a few days of just hanging around at home, not doing very much apart from eating, sitting, being with family, just chilling really, I need to really get out and do something and move my body and just stop sitting at home on the sofa. So today we're here with Cheese, Kizzy, which is my sister's dog. And we're at a place where I'm usually, well, you usually can't find me. So for some reason, the rest of my family is really into horses, horse riding, stables, farming, all those kind of things. I don't really like horses. It's just not really my thing. So this is a very, very unique thing for me that I would go to the stables and actually take a horse and do something with it. I'm not gonna ride, because I, I, I just can't. I mean, I, I sat on a horse before, but I don't really know what I'm doing. Also, I'm slightly terrified. So we're not gonna do that, but we will take the horses and go for a walk in the forest. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Usually we would be traveling right about this time. It's the 2nd of January today, but for obvious reasons, we can't do that. So at least we can go out a bit and explore our own backyard, I guess. So, wish me luck. I'm nowhere near to equipped to go horse riding, obviously, because why would I ever do that? So I had to borrow some clothes from my mom. I'm not an expert in the field, but I'm not sure it's supposed to look like that. This is my jumper. That's all, we're, we're still good here. Then my mom gave me some horse riding pants, which may or may not fit, but that's okay. But they're quite short. And what you're supposed to do is put them in your socks and then put your shoes on, which is just weird. All right, first challenge I successfully got away from getting the horses, which is absolutely terrifying. Last summer, my dad convinced me to come here and it was honestly the worst thing ever because suddenly all the horses, which were about like 20 or 30, came running after us and just came to us and the dog Cheese was, was with us. So she started barking and everyone started freaking out and I panicked and I nearly cried and it was horrible. It was really, really bad. So I'm so glad that I don't have to go on here and my dad just goes and gets the horses. Lucky, lucky, because I'm, I, I, I'm never gonna do that again. So this is my dad's horse. His name is Granit. He is quite big, but very nice. And then this, this is my dad. Hi dad! Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Blendy, which is my mom's horse. Come on Blendy! Let's go! Come, Lady. Oh. 
All right, so as you might be able to tell, I'm not exactly an expert with the horses. It all started when I was about 14 and my sister was eight and she was really into horses. Like every young girl's dream, she loved to go out with the horses, go horse riding, go pet them, go clean them, go whatever you do with them. So one day my parents thought, oh, it might be quite nice to do like a family trip to the local stables and just to go horse riding. So we went and it was all fine. You know, it was a day. It wasn't my favorite, but it was all right. And I thought, great, that's it, done that, cool. Yeah, for some reason, everyone else kind of got really hooked. And so they wanted to continue. So since then, we went horse riding every single weekend. And my parents said I had to come with them at least until the summer holidays because they thought maybe I will start to like it. So I went horse riding for about two months every weekend and what shall I say? I still don't like it. Don't get me wrong, horses are great animals. They're really majestic, they're really kind, they're really nice to people, to humans. And I think it's a great hobby for them to have. It's just not my thing. Honestly, I much prefer going to concerts or going traveling or going anywhere else really. But you know, it's 2021, new beginnings. Why not try that? And it's quite, an, it's quite nice to go out and just at least go for a walk with them. And then it really started from there. My parents got really hooked and they bought one horse and then another one and then, come on, and then another one. And now both my parents and my sister have their own horses and my sister even works with horses. So, and I'm still terrified, but that's okay. I'm just, you know, the auntie that comes twice a year, pets them, gives them some carrots and we're good friends. Right, Blandy? Yes. Best friends. <laughs> Come here. Ah. Blandy. Come here. Blandy. Ja, Käse, du musst nur noch mitmachen. Läuft gut? Great. <laughs> Come, Blandy. Come here! You come with me! Fine! Fine! <laughs> <laughs> And of course the horses are super cute and everything, but my real favorite is this little guy. Look, it's Paul the donkey. Isn't he cute? Look at him. And he's always super hungry. Oh, look at the carrot. Blendy. Ah. Blendy. And of course, cheese gets its carrot as well. And that's it from me today, or actually from me, Blandy, Granit and cheese, of course. So I hope you enjoyed the video, our little trip in the forest. A bit random, but that's what you do between the years or just after New Year's. So have an amazing 21. And if you're new here, remember to subscribe and like and comment this video. And then I'll see you soon. Bye.